So you're ready to stop being James Bond, you're ready to stop being the secret agent and become a well-known real estate agent to the point in your local market where people see you as that go-to agent and they want to work with you, they reach out to you as opposed to you reaching out to people yourself. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through 12 months step-by-step -step plan to become one of the most well-known, recognized and sought after listing agents in your exact local market without doing the traditional stuff like cold calling, buying a bunch of leads, door knocking, any of these types of different things. And so this plan is really gonna allow you to make this happen quickly without having to do all of those things. So let's first cover the greater strategy to make this happen and then break it down on a monthly, weekly, and also daily action steps that you can put into practice yourself. Now, before we dive right into this, over the last seven years, I personally work with over 750 real estate agents, ranging from some of the top 50 teams in the whole United States, all the way back to individual top producers, new real estate agents alike, really helping them build brands to acquire listing clients specifically. So this is where the knowledge is from. It's really from the trenches, from actually doing this stuff with real estate agents. So you will know that based on this information, if you put it into practice, it is going to work. It's going to produce results on the back end based on the proven methods. And really what I've learned during this time working with all these real estate agents is that it's very easy to fall into a situation where you've tried to get your word out there, right? Whether it be a CRM, a lead platform that you bought, social media tool that you bought, maybe you have hired somebody, maybe you run some Facebook ads yourself, right? It's very easy to fall into trap where you're kind of like switching between different types of tools, right? You bought this service, that service, you bought this lead gen thing, about this tool, right? And really, if you do that, you're just switching things back all the way, all, all, the, all, all over again, right? You're really gonna feel stuck and you, it's easy to experience that, okay, nothing seems to work. I don't really know what could I do to grow my business, right? I tried all these things, but none of them really work, right? So as opposed to doing that, what we need to do here, first of all, is to have a real comprehensive strategy, a real plan, clear plan of action when it comes down to growing your business during that next 12 months so that it's not, Again, one of those things that you tried, right? And then you switch back two weeks later, one month down the road. So really what we're gonna do in this video, right? Is we're gonna create a real plan for you. And this way, you are going to know that you are making progress towards the end goal as long as you're following this game plan over the next 12 months. You are gonna get wins. You are gonna get listings very quickly. You can get even listings up onto the first months as you're running this strategy but again it's key that you stick with the plan stick with the strategy as you're following this game plan now this game plan is the easiest way to do this because i'm just going to give you right action steps right from the get-go you don't have to figure it out yourself you don't have to buy a bunch of tools test out that bunch of different things right as opposed to doing all of that this method does not require you to buy a bunch of tools you, this doesn't require you to hop on a tv show it doesn't require to put out any viral stunts it doesn't require for you to have any sort of like rare outlier events for this to actually happen. This is based on pure math. If you do these things, you are going to become that agent. You are going to generate those listings. As long as you do these things, you are going to experience success when it comes down to these steps. You know that for 100% certainty. And the beauty of this is, is that anyone can literally do this. Now, when it comes down to a TV show, it's not that everybody can do this, but this method, any single real estate agents in the United States and the whole world literally can execute this plan. So that's really the beauty of it. Now, having said that, let's dive right into this. So month one, this is where you're gonna be doing organic social media basics. And the goal here is to maximize opportunities in your existing hot list. So what do I mean by hot list? What does that mean in the first place? Well, most real estate agents, like I mentioned, they try to build businesses outside of the people that they know. So when you buy leads, right, you're buying people that have never met you. When you try to run ads on Facebook, you're targeting people that have never seen you. And that's obviously the most hardest thing you could ever do with online marketing, you could ever do with real estate marketing. It is cold marketing. Cold marketing is the hardest thing any single marketer can do. Even for us, if you try to do cold ads for real estate agents that have never met us, it's gonna be a lot of harder than marketing to our database, marketing to the people that have already heard about me, already heard about Nosu. So what we do here for you as a real estate agent, as your plan, is that first of all, you're gonna create organic social media content. You're gonna create three text and picture-based social media content pieces. One about the market, one about the case study or client success story you have experienced, and then one personal post 
from yourself, about your lifestyle, about your personal life. Now, what we don't want to do here is to plug in to ChatGPT and say, hey, ChatGPT, create me a uh, content piece about my local market, or hey, ChatGPT, create me a personal post. We're not gonna do any of that stuff. What we also don't wanna do is obviously just go to your broker and say, hey, broker, give me a content piece that I can put into my social media or just put in something from online, right? We are not gonna do any of those things because the goal here, again, is to post content to your hot list people that know you right so we don't want to mess that relationship up by posting something that's spammy or posting something that's generic but again our goal here is to build a real relationship with these local people so okay that's the first thing you're going to be doing three text and picture based posts to your facebook linkedin instagram and youtube posts now the second thing is going to be one time weekly email to your database so every single real estate agent has a database I'm sure you have one as well. And on average, real estate agents have about 500 to 1,000 people in their database. So you're gonna do one X weekly email to that database with a call to action to a free resource or to a free service. This could be either a list of homes that you have. This could be a service like going over a home property report, you creating a CMA for them, any of these things. You do one of those per week and you send that to your database. Same exact concept here, right? You're not gonna take something from your brokerage, but you're gonna create that resource, you're gonna send that resource to the database yourself. Now, we build a workflow here where this is gonna be very easy, very fast, doesn't take you a lot of time, and you can do it consistently in about two hours per week. So it doesn't take a lot of time, very quick thing to do. Third thing is gonna be daily outreach to your social media network and social network in general. You're gonna create unsolicited personalized home equity reports and hopping on Zoom calls with people to go over those reports that are interested. Then you're gonna be building your pipeline and then you'll ask for a referral at the end of the going through that report. This is gonna allow you to generate again, nice, easy conversations with the local people. A lot of these people already know who you are. They may be even friends, they may be your neighbors that you're going through this. Again, because it's all based on the people, it's based on the hot list that you already have. This could be your past leads. These are very easy, warm type of conversations that you experience. Now, the goal of this first month, it is not for us to become the next Ryan Sherhand. It is not for us to become the next internet celebrity. It is not for us to build a million dollar business, right? We're not trying to do any of those things. We're just trying to get one or two transactions. Whether it be a buyer transaction or a listing transaction, we take that money, you're gonna generate on average about $7,000 if you're an average real estate agent. Obviously some markets you can experience even more than that, right? But you get that one or two transactions, you get that $7,000, $15,000 in the bank. And now we can go for the month one, two month, three forward. So after you do that, we're gonna to go to listing generation with YouTube advertising. And that's when we're gonna be really cranking things up, really scaling things up. So what do we do here after that first month? So you now you have the cash from the things you did, you did on the month one, right? So now we take that cash, now we reallocate that to paid advertising on social media. But how do you actually do paid advertising? Like, this is a very common thing. People want to run paid ads, but they usually fail. They don't know what they're doing or they just fail, right? So these are the exact steps for how you can guarantee you are going to be successful with paid advertising. So number one, you can record five video ads for local homeowners in your market with a call to action to opt into your funnel. So record five. Most real estate agents, again, they take an ad from their brokerage, they use a tool, they use ChatGPT. You're not gonna do any of those things. You're gonna record a personalized video ad to maximize your odds of success. And then also in addition to that, you're not gonna record only one video ad, but you will record five video ads. So you have five video ads ready to go. Now, step number two is you will set up your funnel for listing lead generation. So a lot of real estate agents, when they run ads, they run the ad to a website. And that's the difference. If you run ad to a website, you have all those buttons, you have all the distractions, all the case studies. So as you're running those, right, a lot of people just go on and start clicking on different things. Here, we set up your funnel. So the difference between a website and a funnel is that with the funnel, each page links only to the next pay a step in the process. You only have one step as you're running these ads. So when I opt into your funnel, I click on your ad, video ad, I'm gonna go into your funnel, and then in that funnel, each page will only ask me to do only one thing, and there won't be any distractions, just one thing at a time. As the end result, I'm gonna become your listing lead. If I go through all of those stages, at the end, I will leave my contact information, you will know my 
phone number and you will also know my email. Now, step number three is gonna be running a testing phase for your ads. So the thing that happens with a lot of real estate agents is that they just put out their ads out there, right? And then they just let it them run. And then a month later, they're like, okay, this doesn't work. I don't know what to do, right? Okay, I'll just turn these off and I'll go to the next ad. So instead, what you're gonna be doing in the first seven to 14 days of running your ads is you run a testing phase for your ads. And you wanna be looking at the numbers after seven to 14 days and seeing the data on those ads. So which ads did incredibly well, which ads were like average, and then which ads just failed that you can get any leads or maybe they got leads, but the leads just were bad in quality. So you run that testing phase, and then as you start generating these listing leads right from the first day or two usually, you're gonna start calling these leads, and also obviously people will be booking appointments to your calendar, so you will be conducting those appointments from the ads that you're running with those listing leads. After seven to 14 days, we're gonna cut the losers. So we're gonna turn off the ads that are not working and we're gonna duplicate the ads that are working very well. So we're gonna duplicate the winners and cut out the losers. And what this is gonna do is that this is gonna eliminate your losses, but this is also going to increase your winnings because you already have the ads that are winning. Now, by the end of the month, you should have approximately generated anywhere from 20 to 30 to 50 listing leads, depending on your market, right? If you're a market that's more high-end, right, you can expect a little bit less listing leads. If you're a market that's a little bit cheaper, you can again expect to get a lot more leads. But anywhere from 20, 30 to 50 listing leads is usually the average after this first month of running these ads. And from these, you should usually have conducted anywhere from two, three to five listing appointments with the real local homeowners. And on average, you should have closed anywhere from one or two listings from these ad advertisements that you have run. So at this point, you have been able to spend about thousand to two thousand dollars on your paid advertisements. And then again, you have closed a transaction, closed a contract for a listing. So listing or two ideally. And again, we now have the machine, it is already up and running. So now we have generated our sales, again, profit of around seven thousand minus thousand dollars. So approximately five thousand dollars in the bank, again, from running these ads. So now we're gonna to go to the next month. And now we are currently starting at the month number three. And now we're gonna run this strategy for the next three months. This is where we're gonna be doing YouTube advertising scaling, running your omnipresence advertisements, and then also creating listening video tours of the listings that you have generated through YouTube, through organic social media, and also through Meta that you have run. So the thing here is, and the key concept to understand is really the mechanism behind scaling. So a lot of people ask me, okay, what, what do you mean by scaling? Like, what does that even mean? So as you start to run advertisements, really the point here is that you have created yourself a listing acquisition machine. So instead of you having to call people, door knock people, you have to chase people or creating a viral strategy from a wizard's hat where you pull out the rabbit <laughs> to generate listings, right? You have a machine, you know the system, you know how it works, you know the numbers. So if you spend a thousand dollars, you get seven thousand dollars back. Well, the only thing holding you back from just doing that, just spending more. So at this point, we're gonna start spending more, get see more, get more leads, get more appointments, get more clients, and ultimately generate more profit. So the first thing, issue will be though that if you have ever run ads on social media, you know that okay, you run it for a thousand dollars, it works really well. But when you increase the budget, let's say you try to run three thousand dollars or five thousand dollars, well, the cost per lead goes up. It's no longer the same, right? And that's why people talk about scaling. If it was that easy that you can just scale up a real estate business, right? Just put out some ads and just spend more money, everybody would do that, right? Everybody would just start spending more ads. But what happens is something called ad fatigue. So when people see the ad in your market, there's really not that many homeowners in most markets. Most markets, maybe there's 10,000 homeowners, maybe there's 20,000 homeowners, maybe there's 50,000 homeowners. But when you run social media ads, these are very powerful and you can run an ad and then people that are resonating with the ad have seen the ad usually quite quickly. If you spend a thousand dollars a month, I mean, you have already gotten a lot of those local homeowners to see the ad one time. So if you run this for a longer period of time, you need more angles, you need more ammunition, you need more different ways to get the homeowners to see. You, you just can't rely on one or two advertisements that are working. So we really need to create more ads to be able to scale the budget because otherwise what's gonna happen is we just spend money, right? And then the money doesn't produce us the same ROI as before. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna record 10 more new YouTube video ads, but we're not gonna record the full advertisements. We're actually gonna record just 10 new beginnings of the advertisements. And that's what we call the hook for your advertisement. So the first five seconds of your advertisement, we're gonna re-record that with a different angle, but the rest of the video, that actually stays the same. So this way we're gonna get up to 10 new 
videos from one ad and if you have two or three ads that were working already that means you're going to get 20 to 30 new advertisements from default and then now you're going to be able to test those ads now we're going to be able to find the winners of those ads because the truth is that when you're on advertisements if you think about the advertisement experience yourself right you're on social media you're scrolling to instagram right how many ads do you actually watch or if you're on YouTube, right, you see an advertisement, right? Even after this video, imagine an ad starts running right now. I mean, how many of those ads do you watch? You don't watch that many. And so the people that actually watch the ad, they watch the ad because of the beginning of the advertisement. So the first five seconds is really what 99% of the people that see your ad actually see. It's just the first five seconds. So all we need to do is just change that first five seconds keep the rest of the advertisement that's already working the same, and that's gonna allow us to tap into the new segments of the local homeowner population. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna test these hooks on YouTube. So we're gonna again plug these ads, we're gonna run a new testing phase, and we're gonna re-repeat that process. And that's how we're gonna get, get new ads, new angles to the local homeowners. Now, after this, we're gonna take 10 of your best text and picture-based posts. You remember on the month one, we started to create those posts on your organic social media that were just very simple text and picture-based posts. Now you have created up to 12 times three, that's 36 different posts. So we can take 10 of those best posts that have already resonated with your market, you know they're working, people like them, right? So we take 10 of those best text and picture-based posts from your organic social media, we recreate them back into an advertisement on the paid social media and we start writing those best text and picture based posts that have already value giving or already personal as an ad to those generated leads because remember this is month three at this point you have already usually generated about 100 listing leads just from your paid ads but you also have your database you also have the past leads you have gotten before you run those ads and now we'll be able to run these ads as an omnipresence vehicle to the database to the ads uh, to the leads that you have already generated so we have about thousand to two thousand like hot people but now instead of you having to reach out to them personally, we can run them ads and that way generate them and then turn them into appointments, turn them again into referrals from that. And then number three is gonna start creating weekly home tour videos from the listings you are generating. Because remember, listings are much more powerful than buyers. With listings, you can market the property. With listings, we can generate obviously buyer leads for the property. And with listings, we can generate referrals. So now we're gonna take that listing that you're generating already from the ads. We're gonna start creating YouTube videos where you just run through a property, very simple. And those video, videos will generate you organic traffic that you don't even pay for to generate even more buyer leads and more, more transactions. Actions. So you'll get buyer leads, you'll get referrals, you get free exposure while simultaneously building your brand because you're building up your organic YouTube channel and also you're demonstrating to the sellers and buyers your marketing skills and again turning that into more listings, turning that into more reputation, turning that into more appointments and clients. And now we're gonna be able to have a perfect storm for almost the success that you're looking for. But now, month six to month 12, we're gonna go into YouTube advertising scaling. Now this is the point where if you really wanna take your business to the next stage, you wanna do $500,000 a year, a million dollars a year, you have to know how to do the scaling part really, really well. So what you're gonna be doing here on the month six to month 12 is you just keep scaling the advertising and keep scaling the videos month over the month, keep spending more, keep marketing more, and then keep really taking things to that next level. Now, at this point, if you're generating 100, 200 leads per month, you can generate 300 leads per month. At that point, it may make sense to also build up your team. Maybe as a team member, you can hire yourself an appointment setter. It's called an ISA, or you hire just an SDR, a sales development representative that is calling these leads for you and then booking these leads to your calendar. Maybe at this point, you also hire a buyer agent to your team where the buyer agent actually takes care of the buyers and you have a split with the buyer, uh, but the buyer agent that's gonna just give you money for just giving them the lead. A lot of agents, they pay up to 40% for Zillow, Zillow Flex right now, just to get the transaction, right? So they're gonna easily pay you 20, 30% if you just ask for them to pay for the, those leads that you're giving them. Also at this point, you're gonna keep scaling your brand, right? So it just really comes down to doing more of what already is working. You keep creating more YouTube videos, you keep creating more YouTube ads, you keep creating more hooks, and really just manage the overall machine. You're gonna be working on the business as opposed to in the business. And this way, if you stick to this plan, by the end of the year, if you look at the actions, if you look at the marketing that you have done as a real estate agent, by sticking to this plan, you have created those three text and picture-based posts on your Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and YouTube, right? So that is three posts times 52 weeks. You have created 156 marketing pieces to your organic social media. Additionally, you have created a weekly YouTube home tour to your YouTube channel. So again, that's 52 videos you have created organically. 
Additionally, you have been running those paid advertisements and the paid advertisements have on average generated in you anywhere from 100,000 to 200,000 impressions from your paid advertisements that you have run to the local home market. So if you run the math, those are 100,000 impressions per month. That is 1.2 million impressions to your local markets to the, from the paid advertisements. In addition to that, from the paid advertisements, you have generated anywhere from 50 to 100 listing leads per month or even more than that. Let's say on average, you have generated yourself 50 listing leads per month. Well, that is 50 times 12. That is 600 listing leads in your pipeline. And now, in addition to that, you have also nurtured your database. You have also nurtured the people that are already close to your sphere. And now all those people are also giving you referrals or giving you clients as well. So what happens surely now is that, okay, if you live in a market, let's say it works for 200,000 people or 100,000 people, right? Well, what happens now is a lot of those people that are in your local market, they start recognizing you, you know, on the streets, on the restaurants you go, on the shops. They'll start, hey, you're the real estate agents from the social media, or hey, you're the guy from the YouTube app. And so what happens now is you become that local household name, but you're not really an internet celebrity. You're not really somebody that has millions of views or any of that. You don't have to deal with any of the downside of being an actual celebrity. You're kind of like that local go-to celebrity as a being a real estate agent, and now that's gonna allow you to grow your business, but also build real relationships with the local people that already know you, and just have a great personal brand in your local market as well. So it's gonna allow you to get, again, more repetition, more recognition, while running the business that you want, while getting the clients that you want. And obviously, we'll stay away from the cold calling, from the door knocking, from all the things that you really probably don't want to do as a real estate agent.